Hey guys, so welcome to this video. I think you guys like my adventure videos, so I'm going to be going reef walking again, and um, I'm going to see what I can find. Hopefully I find a lot of stuff. <laughs> Let's see what we find today. Oh look, this is a large snail. It is commonly known as the tiger cowrie. It is a species of cowrie. It measures up to 15 centimeters, 6 inches in length. The tiger cowrie, Capraea tigris, is one of the most recognized and most valuable of the cowries. Its coloration can range from very pale to almost completely black but is generally made up from a pale base color with darker irregular spots and blotches. Kauri snails are very well known to shell collectors for their attractive shells and are also popular amongst aquarists for algae control. They look like oval-shaped domes in appearance, much like the top of a football, the American kind. Their shells are usually very shiny and have a polished appearance. This is due in large part to the fact that the shell is usually covered and protected by the animal's mantle. This mantle may be similar to the coloration of the shell or may be very different from it, depending on the species. The mantle and animal extend from the slit-like opening on the underside of the shell instead of the round opening like other snails. Caries are algae eaters and grazers. They need plenty of algae to graze on both tiny microalgae and larger microalgae. Only some very close related snails prey on gregorians and other soft corals. While caries are safe for reefs and that they'll not eat coral, polyps or any similar invertebrates. Some do get rather large. With this size comes a certain amount of clumsiness and they may topple corals or rock work as they move causing some physical damage on their way. I just love to see how this snail moves around. Let's see what else we'll find today. Of course we're surrounded by brittle stars. They are everywhere. Look what I found. Linkia lemigara. Also sometimes called the blue linkia or blue star. It is a species of sea star in the shallow waters of the tropical Indo-Pacific. I just love the color of the sea star. These sea stars may grow up to 30 centimeters, 11.8 inches in diameter, with some lighter or darker spots along each of their arms. Every time I come here, I'm not sure what I'll find. It's a real adventure. Now this is not usual. It's the same blue star, but it is a four-armed specimen. Look here, this strange critter also belongs to the sea cucumber family. The snake sea cucumber is a species of sea cucumber in the family of the centipede. It is found in shallow waters in the tropical Indo-Pacific Ocean, sometimes growing as long as 3 meters or 10 feet long. This sea cucumber is a long, slender sea cucumber with 15 tentacles. The tentacles of Cenopoda maculata surround the mouth and are used at the surface feeding. They are about 2.5 centimeters 1 inch long when extended and have a short stem and a feather-like blade with 30 to 40 pairs of pinnacles. The tentacles are in continuous motion. If the animal is disturbed, the tentacles contract back into the suffrix. But before long, they are out again collecting more particles. Well, it was a great find. Let's see what else we can discover. Look at this sea snail. Sea snail is a common name for snails that normally live in salt water. In other words, marine gastropods. Many species of sea snails are edible and exploited as food sources by humans. This one looks like it has a shell inside her body. 
Maybe she's afraid to lose it. <laughs> Amazing what different creatures one can find every time we reef walk. Or look at the local fisherman, or this fisher dog. He is special because he looks under rocks for eels. I really have to watch carefully when I reef walk to be sure that I don't step on anything. I should not. You never know what hides under the rock. Oh, look here. I can't believe that I actually found a real seahorse. I thought that seahorses swim very poorly. But this guy swims away from us just quite quickly. So we can only just get a glimpse of him. My first seahorse I saw in real life. Did you ever see a seahorse in real life? Looks like I'm not the only one that's fishing today. Well, for me, it's only a pleasure of making pictures of the sea life. A sea cucumber also looks slug-like, and is sometimes loosely called a sea slug. But it is not. It's a gastropod. Sea cucumbers are echinoderms from the class Horothoridria, they are marine animals with a leathery skin. The sea cucumbers are named after their resemblance to the fruit of a cucumber plant. If I am right, Fiji stopped agreements with other countries for commercial fishing in its territory. So we can see a lot more sea cucumbers now than before. You often can see local ladies fishing on the edge of the coral reef at a low tide, collecting crabs and other creatures. People depend on sea life to find all sorts of seafood. Well, let's see what else we can find. Oh my, I can't believe. Look here. This species of sea snake dwell along Fiji's rugged coastlines, and they will come ashore to rest. One of these species is a highly venomous black and white banded sea snake, which is often found in lagoons or along Fiji's shores. However, they will not attack people unless they are provoked. At night, they come to shore and may even enter buildings and homes, so you should watch out for them indoors and outdoors in the evening. While their venom is 20 times stronger than any land snake, it is reported that their little mouth is so small that they can only open wide enough to bite the webbing between a baby's fingers. Not that we're game enough to test that theory, mind you, so best to admire them from a distance.
Well guys, I hope you liked this video and thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. Bye bye. Okay, well.